15 pounds. 15 pounds for that lens. Crikey me. 15 quid. My mum and dad have been selling loads of their old stuff that they don't use anymore on eBay and they've made enough money to pay for redecorating the conservatory in the house. How good's that? So they're getting rid of a load of stuff and whilst they were in the loft looking for other stuff to sell, they came across my mum's old camera, in fact. Look at this. This is my mum's camera bag and she's got one of these, I don't know how old it is, I think from the 80s I reckon. So this Cosina, Cosina camera here with a 50mm f2 lens on it. How cool is that? That looks awesome. And then she's also got a 135mm 2.8 lens. Look at that again. Look how small it is as well for 135mm. And then it's also got this. It's a two times teleconverter. So you put that on your lens and it zooms in. Uh, so she was gonna sell all this stuff. And I said, mum, before you sell it, can I just try it out? Because you can get adapters for old lenses that fit on new cameras. And it seems silly to go and spend a lot of money when you could just get yourself some of these lenses really cheap on eBay. In fact, how much are these going for? on eBay, let's have a look. One, three, five, mil. 13 pound 96 on eBay, these are selling for, around that price. 13 pound 96. If you don't want to spend a load of money, in fact, let's see how much this 50, 50 mil one is. 15 pounds, 15 pounds for that lens. Crikey me, 15 quid. So, I thought, why not give them a try, get myself an adapter, put the lenses on my camera and see what it looks like. And to be honest, I was really surprised at the results. There's a slight difference in colour, but that's natural anyway when you're using different lenses. But it was fine, it was absolutely fine for that price, for those prices. It's a great idea. If you want another lens, but you can't quite afford to buy a brand new one that's dedicated to your camera, then this is a great option, you know, especially if it's like a second lens. Now you do have to bear in mind a few things like it, it's not going to have autofocus. These lenses probably or most likely won't have image stabilization. The image stabilization on the camera doesn't work when you've got these lenses on, that's something to note. But if you've got a gimbal or if you're using a tripod, then not to worry, no problem. And I was really lucky with this one because my mum's taken such good care of them. There's no dust or scratches or anything on the lenses or inside the lens. So really lucky that the footage came out looking as good as it did. But it's a small price to pay for having another couple of lenses in your bag. I mean, you could buy loads of them and then you've got loads of different options. Not to mention if I put the two times converter on there, I've got an extra focal length there. You know, what I did was I bought one of these lens adapters and this one is from KNF Concept. It's on Amazon and I'll leave a link below. This one is to convert Pentax style lenses to the Canon EOS R. Now, KNF Concept have got a huge online shop and they've also got a huge store on Amazon as well. Uh, so you just select your lens and your camera combination and then purchase the adapter. But this is really cool because it comes in this little box, which is handy, a little bit of bubble wrap. And um, that's all it is, simple as that. No fancy bells and whistles, that's it. So you put this on your camera, put the lens on, and you're away. In fact, there is one other step, actually, because when I first plugged it in and switched it on and tried to film, it wouldn't record and it wouldn't take a picture either. So what you have to do is you have to go into your menu on the camera and look for the option called release shutter without lens and turn that on and you're good to go. It, it works a charm. 
that's it, that's all you need to do. So what I noticed was, was that they're not very sharp. However, that's a good thing because that's the look I was going for. When I'm using these vintage lenses, I want that old school vintage look and the lack of sharpness is partly what gives you that authentic vintage style look. There's also a glow as well, there's a slight glow and you can tell when you put them side by side and that also adds to that vintage retro style look. And then as you can see, I didn't use a gimbal on any of these examples, so they're very, very shaky. So just bear that in mind. If you are doing video, just make sure that you've got a gimbal or you use a tripod, something like that. I just think it's a really good idea to save some money, but also have some extra options available to you. But what I've enjoyed the most out of doing this little experiment was the fact that my mum used this camera all those years ago and then it's been sat in the loft for years and years, not doing anything, collecting dust. But it's just good that I've taken these lenses out and I've given them some use after all these years, rather than just going to waste. Yeah, it's been, it's been really fun and it's been interesting to see what they look like as well. So yeah. Give it a try. Let me know how you get on it. If you know anybody that's got some of these lenses hanging around or if you've got some up in the loft that you, you've just forgotten about or thinking of selling, maybe just give it a try before you sell them and you might like them. Or if you fancy giving it a go yourself, pop onto eBay and see if you can pick one up really cheap. Give it a whirl and let me know how you get on with it as well because it is interesting. But yeah, if you like the little intro clip that I showed you at the beginning of the video and you want to know how I coloured it, I actually used a new colour grading plugin that was sent to me and it's a film emulation plugin. And I'm going to do a video about that next week and there's also a giveaway. I'll be giving away a free licence for that programme and it's incredible. I, I love it. So stay tuned for that. I'll give you all the details in that video but that's gonna that's gonna be ace I can't wait I've been using it to color grade everything that I've done since using it it's really good on the skin tones as you saw you don't have to do any tweaks whatsoever but obviously you can if you want to I just felt like there was no need to tweak any of the skin tones yeah really enjoying that program at the minute can't wait to share that one with you and uh, I think that's it so don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews and tutorials and I'll see you in the next video have a good week Enjoy.